got an interesting one for you this month, which is that rare retro Nikia presentation of a double toenail. You'll see from the channel that there are three other retro Nikia videos, but I've never managed to get that nail underneath the nail presentation when I've had the camera to hand until this month. So I managed to find one, had a little look at the literature because I wasn't really sure what it was called. Was it a retro Nikia? Was it a double nail? Was it an Onico Schizia or a really bad Onico Medici? So uh, Lancaster and that hero of mine, Bertrand Russell, have nicely put this out in a narrative review and have come up with a new term to me, poly Nikia. So in their beautiful narrative review, they've looked at the different presentations and put together a classification system really for acute, ongoing and chronic. And what they hypothesise is you'll get a kind of a proximal retronychia, but ultimately if the nail separates from the matrix, another one starts to grow and ultimately, but not always, pushes the old one out. And that's when you can get a nail underneath the nail. Very cool presentation, quite unusual video coming up but I started halfway through and it caught me out. So David we talked about this being a, a retro Nikia okay so we talked about that nail gets a bit of a wallet you know I said sometimes if there's, if there's another nail underneath it so as I'm coming underneath I've already just done that first bit of release there as I take this nail off there is a whole other nail underneath it. Uh -huh. That is so cool. Every time I think I've had one of these and I've thought there's another nail underneath it, when I've taken the first nail off, there's not been. And every time I've seen it, I've not got the camera handy. It's really such a rare thing, David, you just don't see many. So there's the second nail. That's all right, they're coming two sizes, too big and too small. So there is, let's get it on the camera, there's nail number one and there is nail number two. Fabulous. A little bit. So mm, all of this is a little bit irregular in the nail root, David. Well, that will heal with time and then your new nail will grow it'll take a wee while that's a technical term are we going to be on youtube then um that's a very good question so the answer is if with your permission because i do have a youtube channel and i don't have one of these on my channel so with your permission i would love to youtube this yes thank you very much so i'll just jump back in so here's the two nail plates the one that was dorsal and visible on the left and the one that was underneath hidden really in a way I suppose a true onico cryptosis crypt for hidden so I've seen it a few times if even on one occasion seen three nail plates I just never really knew that it had a name I've just taken the sound off while I waffle on for the last couple of minutes but as I said I've never been lucky enough to have um, either a compliant patient or a video camera to hand these days with iPhones, of course, you've always got a video to hand. And the few times that I've had the video set up, there's not been an, um, a second nail plate. It's just been a kind of an early retro Nikia. So thank you, Lancaster and Reichart, for your wonderful um, narrative review. That's really interesting. Great to have a name. So I've cleaned it up. I've just put a non-adherent dressing on. And what we find with these, we tend not to finalise the, 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 the nail matrix and bed. A new nail will grow typically normally, maybe a little bit dystrophic. And we'll follow David up for a few weeks, just check that he's doing okay. So a bit of a non-adherent non dressing on. What's that? That looks like a bit of gel in it. Would have been back to grow in the old days. We now use a little bit of gauze as a patented BFO. means Latin for really large dressing, just because they can bleed a little bit. We'll keep addressing on for a couple of days. He was back in two days to see the nurses. I'll see him in a couple of weeks, just in the new year. Um, he'll be healed typically within a couple of weeks, new nail within six to 12 months. But that was kind of cool. Thanks for watching.